My name is Eric George with the Building Performance Group and today we're out here with Kelly Doyle at her house and Kelly's got a problem we're going to try to help her out with. I do. Last week actually our air conditioner unit that's actually about 35 years old went out. So at night we thought it's getting a little warm in here. What's going on? And the breaker tripped and, and the fan outside was just not running so we needed to figure out the problem. And so we've heard about the Kentucky Home Performance program before run through the state and I know Eric he's our her great energy auditor with the energy pros and so we thought have Eric come in do the audit and then figure out what where we can go from there yeah so the air conditioner actually needs to be replaced but we're hoping to find some other places that we can improve while we're here and take advantage of the Kentucky Home Performance Program that's correct so we're gonna uh, film some of the stuff that we that we're gonna do throughout the audit process and show you some of the diagnostic tools that we use and Hopefully uh, find a bunch of good stuff to do to the house. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. So the first step of the Kentucky Home Performance Audit is going to be doing the blower door test on the house. Uh, so down here we've got the blower door frame and the fan is sitting over there. I'm going to take this equipment and basically put it in the front door and it's going to simulate air leakage on the house. So uh, while the blower door is running, I'm going to get a number that's going to tell me how leaky this house is. Um, and it's also going to help me pinpoint uh, where the leaks are using the infrared camera. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the blower door and get going with this. So this is the first test we're going to do. This is the blower door test. And what we've done is turn the furnace off, made sure that the furnace and the AC is not running. Um, do you have a gas water heater? If you have a gas water heater, we need to turn out the pilot before we start so that we don't backdraft the water heater. So I'm going to go ahead and get a baseline here, and I'm going to ask Kelly to go turn the uh, water heater off here in a second, and uh, we'll get rolling. So now we got the blower door set up over at Kelly's house, and we're going to do the first test, which is testing for the air leakage in the house. I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up. So basically what the fan is doing is it's simulating 20 mile an hour winds hitting the house from every angle at the same time. So wherever there's air leakage into the house or out of the house, the blower door is going to exaggerate that air leakage and it's going to be easier for us to find the problems. So just like the recessed lights that you see here, I bet if we let this thing run long enough, I can put my hand there and I can, I can actually feel uh, hot air from the attic coming down into there. So one of the things that we'll find. But the number that I get here on the blower door is an air leakage figure in terms of cubic feet per minute. So right now it says that the house is leaking about 1,650 CFM of air uh, per minute at this pressure difference that I've created. So to put that into layman's terms, about one CFM per square foot of living space is a relatively okay tight house. This house, including the basement, is 2,400 square feet. So we're already less than one CFM per square foot. So it's already a relatively tight house, but there is definitely room for improvement. We're gonna go ahead and find all those areas for uh, improvement. So I'm gonna let this run for probably 20 or 30 minutes. While this is running, I'm going to do a duct leakage test. 